Bush. This is the Kettle Moraine cheer team. Operation football starts now. Thank you, Violet and cheer team, and welcome to week nine of Operation Football. Teams tackling the wet weather tonight, and so is Jared Fiocco, who was at our game of the week. He joins us now. Staff, a battle of the unbeatens between Muskego and Kettle Moraine. Warriors 8-0, serious contenders for a Division I state title. Lasers 8-0, well in the hunt for a D2 championship. Muskego moving the chains on its opening drive. Jack Labish. Takes the inside handoff and takes off for 30. Now fourth and goal for the Warriors. They call on Ashton Krauss, but Ashton meet Jonathan Sobiak. Turnover on downs keeps this one scoreless at the half. And then Sobiak scores and gets the two-point combo with three minutes left to play as Kettle Moraine wins the Battle of the Unbeatens. 8-7 Kings of the Classic Eight. A monsoon happening over at Waukesha West, too. Wolverines hosting McGuanago. Indians quarterback Tyler Schlute scores on the keeper. Indians on top. West finally gets on board just for, for the half with a Tyler Sodeman field goal there between the raindrops. Wolverines didn't mind the wet weather. They win this one 27 to 9. Pop on over to South Milwaukee and Wisconsin Lutheran at the half, and oh boy. Vikes holding a hearty lead, and Caleb Wilson decides to go back for seconds. Second play of the second half, and the senior notches his second score. That makes it 49 to 7. Rockets light the board on their next drive. Adam Finn rolls to his left, calls his shot, and floats one to Shondell Williams, number six, four six. That provides the final 49-14. Wisco Lutheran Vikes head into the playoffs at seven and two. Down at Horlick Field, we're seeing Lutheran take it on undefeated Kenosha St. Joe's early on. Lancers with the ball. And check out senior running back Jaden Gordon. Goes up the gut, goes left, and keeps on going. Nobody can catch him. A 75-yard touchdown run. St. Joe's on top. We're seeing a Lutheran response here. QB Cohen Kraus on the keeper, rumbles in for the score. But St. Joe's remains unbeaten. The Lancers win 49-7. Franklin trying to put a bow on a perfect regular season up 27 7 in the third frame when it's pick six time for Ty Davis intercepts the Devin Wheaton offering and he will return it 43 yards for a defensive touchdown fourth quarter. How about a gift for a departing senior Ethan McClain normally a lineman gets into the promised land on a fullback dive but the Sabres run into the postseason 9 and 0 41 21 Franklin final. Over in Greenfield, the Hustlin' Hawks hosting Cudahy a little earlier than usual because of the wet weather. And this one was all Greenfield. Quarterback Jaden Valdez. The quick pass across to wide receiver Nate Williams. And look at him go. Flies right past our camper person. A 37-yard touchdown connection in the rain. Greenfield pours all over Cudahy. Hey, hey, hey. The final 47-6. Well, just down the road, Greendale hosting Grafton. And another Woodland Conference showdown. First half play action fake. Tommy Lutz rolls right and finds Gavin Lemke for six. The Blackhawks fly over the Panthers 34 to seven. Well, time now for our Operation Football Play of the Week nominees. Yeah, last week it was a Grafton scoop and score that took home the honors. How about this week, though? Play number one nominee, Flash Gordon. Oh. This is why Kenosha oh. St. Joe's is still undefeated with players like this. Senior running back. Jaden Gordon. Hand of the ball goes up the middle, goes left, and he's gone. A 75 yard touchdown run. Nominee numero dos. Franklin's Ty Davis hosting his own version of the Wisconsin Lottery. Pick and six. This able saber helps Franklin march into the playoffs. Perfect. And our third and final nominee, Hustlin' Hawks flying. Greenfield quarterback Jaden Valdez. The pass to wide receiver Nate Williams. And look at Williams. Fly between the raindrops, a 37-yard touchdown connection in the rain. Now it's time for you, yes, you, the viewers, to vote. If you've seen this week's Play of the Week nominees, head over to WISN.com or the 12 News app and vote right now. The winner will be announced Sunday night during 12 News at 10.